These people are all drops from the ocean of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Their secret is in their ittiba, is in their following. We recently had one of the great saints of Turkey died, Mahmoud Effendi. He said to his uh, students, if you see me leave one sunnah, then leave me. And this is something all of them, this is something all of them embodied. But the most important thing of the sunnah of our Prophet Wasallam that they embodied was makaram al-akhlaq. And this is, the sunnah is not to have a short robe. You can say that that's, uh, the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, and some people wear that. But Abu Bakr, he dragged his uh, garment. And nobody followed the sunnah better than Abu Bakr. And when the Prophet ﷺ said that people that drag their garments, they'll be in hellfire. Abu Bakr said, what about me? He said, no, because he didn't do it for that reason. He just, his, his, his izar would droop down. It's sunnah to have a beard. But you can have great Muslims who shave their beards. But it's sunnah to have a beard. Some say it's wajib. There's a khilaf about that. The majority say it's wajib. It's sunnah to wear a, a headscarf. But you can have devout Muslim women that might not be wearing their headscarf. We, don't, we, 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 we accept everybody. And this is the only way that this ummah will be united is in recognizing, because we encourage out of love, not out of tanfir. The Prophet said, Bashiru wa la tunafiru. Give glad tidings. Don't chase people away from this religion. And this happens too often. I had a woman who became Muslim uh, with us in, uh, in Santa Clara. The first question she asked me was about makeup. And I said, don't worry about makeup. And then a few, about a month later, I asked about her. And they said, oh, she left Islam. And I said, why? They said, oh, they told her she had to leave her husband. You know, this is, the, this is the time we're living in. People, uh, I met uh, Habib uh, the other day. Do you know Habib, the wrestler? So he came, he came to the Bay Area. And, uh, you know, I, I, I gave, gave him a hug. It was like hugging a rod of iron. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> so anyway, Habib said something really beautiful. He said, if people that didn't know about Islam would just shut up, he said, most of the Muslims' problems would go away. And this is why Imam al-Bukhari said, Bab al-ilm qabla al-qawli wal-amal. He has a chapter entitled, The Chapter of Knowledge Before Speaking or Acting. 